Well, good morning everybody from Cherry Grove Beach, South Carolina and um, I was trying to find a nice place to bring a sunrise this morning. Uh, got out of bed really early. Uh, Shaughnessy is here with me. Um, she's not really wanting to be on camera this morning. I got up early and was not able to make myself presentable, so I'm You're, you're more presentable than I am, but anyway, she's just wearing a ball cap and uh, hair in a braid, didn't want to be on camera. And my hair don't do much regardless of what time it is, so I guess I'll be recording this one. But anyway, uh, we were hoping to bring you a sunrise this morning. It does not look like it's going to happen. Uh, the sun is rising now, but there's so much haze right here on the water. But where we are is a place that... Um, a lot of people don't know about it, but the uh, far north end of Cherry Grove Beach, it's called Hog Inlet, and it's right here where the ocean, which is in the background behind me, the Atlantic Ocean, comes into the inlet right here. And from what I understand, there's some good fish in here. There's some sand dunes around, not really big ones, but I keep getting bit or by something. But, um, and then you can see across the inlet to um, the land that's coming into view. So. We're going to wait here a little bit and just see if the sun comes up and burns some of this off and let you see what Hog Inlet looks like. It's a really uh, pretty area, very natural. Nothing. There's no high rises up here on this part of the island or on this part of the beach. should say it's not really an island, I don't guess. But uh, anyway, we're going to hang out here for a little bit. There's the Atlantic Ocean. And right here is where... I guess this is what you would call the point because this is where the ocean and the inlet meet right here. Here comes a boat speeding by, so we'll, we'll get him. And that's not my lens fogged up. That's really what it looks like out here this morning. Let's see this guy here. Fishing the inlet this morning. Stay here for a few minutes and I think the sun actually has risen but there's just no no color or anything. Apologize for that. A few people out this morning. I'm not gonna get you. My wife keeps walking around behind me every time I can over. <laughs> but we have our friends out here this morning. Rovier, say hello. Rovier. I see that sand on your nose. Go for a ride? Oh. All right. No, come on, look at me again. I see the sand on your nose. Ruby, you gonna go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. That usually gets his attention. He smells something, obviously. Probably where other dogs have been. Yeah. Renoir, are you happy to be here this morning? He said, I guess. <laughs> you don't know what to think. Here, pose for the camera. He's not a bit interested in listening to me. He smells where other dogs are been. Come on, bud. Let's get that nose. Come here. Don't growl at me. All right, let's get that nose. You got sand on the nose this morning. All right. And now he sneezes. You want to say hello to everybody? He got the sand off of his nose now. He got something right here. Say hello to everybody. What, what do you, you think of the water, Rebier? He said, I think you got me out of bed for nothing. <laughs> he's not going to say much this morning. Yeah, he's not very talkative. Renoir. You can just see a little bit of hint of the sunrise coming through the fog, but just not much of a sunrise day. That's a shame after such a beautiful sunset last night from the pier. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's okay. Starting to see the sun now.
I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if it's mosquitoes or sand gnats or what, but we're getting eat up out here. Just crawling on my legs and biting and everything else. Kind of a peaceful sound just listening to the waves lap up on the shore there. Here waiting for the sun to come up and burn some of this haze off. And then the sun's up, but I mean to come up high enough to clear it out a little bit. We saw those fish jump. Anwar, what you think, bud? What do you think? He does not want to be on camera either. That's two today that don't want to be on camera. Some of us aren't morning people. Huh? Some of us aren't morning people. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the sun's starting to burn through a little bit now. A little bit brighter, casting a little bit of a glare on or glow on the water. Now I'll say something about hog inlet. Um, it's one of the things that a lot of people, when they come to Cherry Grove Beach, unless they're staying up here, they don't even know exists. I didn't for years. Uh, found out about it a few years ago and walked up here. It's really peaceful, really quiet up here, as opposed to going down just about two miles. But um, one thing I will say is there's not a lot of parking availability. If you're not staying up here at this end, there's only a couple of... Um, three places you can park that are like parallel parking. I mean, there are very few of them, maybe four or five at the most. I figured we would get one uh, coming out here for sunrise this morning. Uh, but if you come later in the day, it's hit or miss. There have been times where um, one of us will have to pull off and just pull off into a parking lot somewhere and stay with the truck while the other walks out here and sees it. But today we were able to find one, but parking is very scarce up here. So. Uh, it, this would be a beautiful place to catch a sunrise if it just weren't so hazy this morning so if you're going to come up here I would maybe recommend considering uh, get, just getting up here early uh, your chance of finding a parking space will be better and um, very very peaceful up here very very beautiful alright I was hoping once the sun was up like this, that you could see the island a little bit more. If anything, you can see it less. Notice how hazy. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah, there was a little blue ball or something you could see sitting in the sand over there, and I can't see it now. Can't hardly see the land. 
We'll wait just a few more minutes and hopefully once that sun's up good, it'll burn that off. All right, Shasta found her a little shell here that's still intact. Very nice. Very tiny. Kind of like the little tiny shell you were listening to the beach in. Yeah, I found one the other day. It was like one of those big conch shells where you can put it up to your ear. And Except it was it. about this size here. Yeah, it was here. about that size there. Yeah, to look on our Facebook to see that. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could hear anything through it. <laughs> I like just in the, uh, the sun in the background watching the birds fly by. There was just a seagull that flew through there. I'd much rather the seagull be out there than over my head. We both had bad experiences with seagulls. One got me on the shoulder at Siesta Key one time. And got me around top of the head. Yeah, that was hilarious. But where, where was that? So we got a few people out here this morning. Cherry Grove Beach is dog friendly during certain hours. I don't, was it up before, to nine? Yeah, before 9 a.m. and I think after 5 Yeah, and after 5. You're not really supposed to have them out here before that, but, or I'm sorry, during those hours, but you can have them out before and after that. Gentleman walking his big black. I don't know what that is. It's not a lab, is it? I don't know what it is. Heart lab, maybe. I don't really look like a lab. Little birds running along the beach. I always like those little birds watching their legs. I don't know if it's even picking them up or not. Okay, folks, I think that's going to about do it for hog inlet. We've hung around a little bit longer than we meant to just to see if some of the haze would burn off. It's really not getting any better. I'm sure it will at some point, but um, I got somebody out of bed a little bit early this morning, so I think maybe she's going to go back and rest, and she's out of earshot right now, so she'll hear this when y'all do. But, Anyway, we're gonna, it's a good little walk from where we parked. Probably walked maybe half a mile, I'm gonna guess. So we're gonna start heading back that way. I'll try to get some of the sand dunes on the way back. All right, here's some of the sand dunes on the way back. And I got an interesting feature here. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's an old tree. I don't know. Can't imagine somebody just sticking that there. But I'll walk up a little closer. Just kind of by itself, there's no other trees out here. Uh, pretty loose. I don't know why that's there. Uh, it's there nonetheless. Here are some of the sand dunes. Seagrass growing on top of them. Let's look back out at the sun. Still hazy. Still kind of obscured view. Can't see much. But we do hope you enjoyed this video of Hog Inlet. Sorry the sunrise wasn't better. Um, but still kind of a nice morning to be out there. Alright, walking back to our truck now from Hog Inlet. And I want to show you all this fishing pier. This is not the fishing pier I go on. The Cherry Grove Pier. This is a private pier. And... I think the year before last, it was like this last year, you can see there's a hunt missing out of the middle of it. And I believe a storm did that. A uh, hurricane or tropical storm or something. I thought the pier was closed, but apparently they're still letting people go out as far as there. So, I don't know what the plan is, if they're going to eventually rebuild it. Or if they're just going to leave it there, if they're going to demolish that last half. But there's a big gap right between it there. So, 
anyway one last look at this end of Cherry Grove Beach it's just beautiful area starting to get back into some of the vacation rentals now but up there at the end look, there's nothing like that it's just all nature